The Tulsa Golden Hurricane stirred to a Category 5 fury, all for a shot at number 5, Boise State tonight. Tulsa time is when this crowd hopes the clock strikes midnight on Boise State's BCS Dream. The started here at Chapman Stadium in Tulsa. Brotsman approaches it. The number five team in the land is underway on the road. And Johnson will bring it out of his end zone. A little bit of a line in the football is loose as Johnson takes a wicked hit. Big time hit by Travis Stanaway. Knocked the football loose and then recovering it. There is George Quinks upon her, Michael Sunch, who's averaging a little over 43 yards. He handles a low snap. Boise not putting the pressure on, and Wilson's going to make his second fair catch of the night. He muffed it. It goes down, and the Golden Hurricane has it. DeAndre Brown, a special teams demon, coming up with the muff of the punt and all of a sudden just like that field position. John Sidden. Whitmore coming in motion. The option looked a quick pitch to Whitmore. He's going to throw it. He's got a wide open man. It's Demaris Johnson. Johnson's going to score. Touchdown Tulsa. Second and eight for Moore. Complete to his favorite target, Austin Pettis. And Pettis is shoved out of bounds. Avery splits out. Moore firing it down the seam. He's got his man. Pettis has it inside the 20-yard line. And the Broncos are on the move. James Lockett making the stop. Fourth and less than one. Moore is going to sneak it, and he'll have the first down. First and goal as Boise State tries to tie it up. More time into the end zone, looking for his tight end, and he's got it. It's Tommy Gavarda. Touchdown, Boise State. His third catch of the season and first touchdown, and we might go back and forth with a little offense tonight. Well, the difference is Boise State marched down the field. time to attempt the two-point conversion. This is a numbers game. They've got a wide open guy and they convert it easily. As Pettis throws it to Kyle Efa. So one tight end catches the touchdown pass. The other catches the two-point conversion. Or reward. Teams don't throw Kyle's way very often. Kenny, option look. Johnson has it again. Demaris Johnson's free again. And he's out to the 45-yard line. First down, Tulsa. A reverse action. Johnson's got it again. Johnson's got running room and he's directing traffic and he steps out of bounds. A loss of two on the completion. Kenny. Fire. Toward the end zone. Touchdown, Tulsa. Trey Johnson. Great play. Fade round, under throw. Great move. Let's remember this. Kenny in high school threw 47 touchdowns for every interception. Never knows for sure what Boise State's going to line up in. A little boot, and the pass is complete to Richie Brockle for the first down, and the big five passes. Tulsa hasn't thrown an incomplete pass yet. Seven for seven. Here's Moore going deep again, the tight end, and it's Ball who makes the catch. And Tulsa territory is marked out at the 37-yard line, a pickup of 23. Second and 10. Moore firing to the outside. Pettis has it again. Stays on his feet. And Austin Pettis getting close to the first down. I think he's good. Second and five for the Broncos. Moore firing it hard. It's a touchdown to Austin Pettis. Prime case where you're trying to play man coverage, Reese, and you can't get any pressure on him. I mean, Colin Moore just has all kind of time, can step up and throw it. Look at the protection. There's a little bit of a hold in there, and, and you can't stay with the receiver. When you do play, I lost the conference game on a call just like that, only worse. Conference championship.
What is it that you always remember the losses? Doug Martin exploding through the hole and getting up across the 45, 15-yard penalty in the subsequent 12-yard run, and Martin puts it on the ground. And Tulsa's got it. Tanner Angel on the recovery. He and Martin are still scrapping on the ground. But, Dirty, but can they do it week after week? Go in and play uh, LSU, Florida, Georgia, week after week. Makes it more difficult. Williams with a big gain and a first down up to the 45-yard line. Looks to the sideline to get the call. You punt it. Not this no. time. Kenny firing, batted down, and making the play is Shea McClellan, who's had his name called several times tonight. The Golden Hurricane will turn it over on Dallas. So now it's not always fair to compare scores, but sometimes it's the meaningful way to evaluate teams. Avery bursting into the secondary, and now they're getting very close to field goal range. Let's have it. They just can't get it. Here comes the heat on the outside. Moore steps away from it. Has his man wide open in the middle. It's Shoemaker, who's inside the 20. First down Broncos, and they've got a chance to punch one in just before the half. Very careful. You're dealing with Boise. No trickery. Just a true field goal that bounces off the Case Athletic Complex just behind the goal post. And Boise State pushes its lead to 18-14. Getting a little heat. Moore got a little room to run. That's not necessarily his nature, but Kellen turns a corner. Nifty run out across the 40 move by the defensive coach. He's helped her defense. First down, Doug Martin, who put one on the ground in the first half, dragging tacklers and getting close to a first down both ways prior to the Harper injury. Martin's got it again. A good blocking. He's got the first down and a lot more running through tacklers. Brown was there to hit him, and a good block by the center, Thomas Bird. Second and seven. Quick pass, Shoemaker with the catch. Shoemaker, a first down inside the 20-yard line. Destin on the coverage, but not before another Bronco first down. Moore. Well, play action fake has a man wide open. It's Young. Young evades the tackler Lockett. He has another first down, it looks like. Went wide now. Kellen Moore tightens him up. Play action. Moore to the end zone. Touchdown, Boise State. It's Tommy Gavarda for the second time tonight. So than you ever were when you were down there on the field. Oh, I tell you what. Martin up to the 40-yard line. Two runs and Boise's out of their own end, and they star in that USF offense. Martin's got it again. He's got a big hole. He's got big yardage again, and he's going to get 15 more on the face mask and the tackle. DeAndre Brown pulled him down, had to use the headgear to do it. To come up with a stop. Sending for Brown, shoots through a gap, but Moore gets rid of it. It's complete. And Titus Young's going to be just a tad short of the first down. John Flanders on the second half. And that's exactly where they'll go to Martin, and he's got the first down. The drive stays alive. Boy, that's a tremendous effort by, by two scores. Bronxman going to take the sure points. And the Boise State lead is extended to two full touchdowns. That is a victory for Tulsa's defense because it's holding them to three points. You're still only two scores down. You need to take a punch. His response was instantaneously. Great shot down the middle from Kenny to Slick Shelley in the first, the first down of the second half for Tulsa. And I guess it just goes to show you, while certainly we're not trying to make light of the incident. Turn to roll with and accept it. Great throw, great protection, big play. Now they're showing the reverse there action. Got him. Kenny he got him. He's got Shelley out there. Slick okay. Shelley. And why? Tulsa. And why? Because they faked the reverse to hold him. The wide open offense we saw to start the game. We may have a finish at Chapman Stadium. 55. is coming. DJ trying to get away and he cannot. And it'll bring up fourth down and about six. Clock winding down toward a minute. Ryan Winter swipe. Plenty of time on the play clock. It's the game clock that's the problem. To stay alive. DJ Kenny looking. Got a man. Oh, 
He York hopped him. Charles Clay was all by himself at the 40, and Kenny couldn't deliver the ball. If he gets the ball to him, he's so wide open, he might score on that play. The polls as these one-loss teams start improving their resumes along. Uh, what I saw tonight is they're a very fine football team. It was a great game, two very well-coached teams. But no, it wasn't impressive. Remember, Oklahoma absolutely destroyed Tulsa. We'll see what happens to Tulsa as the year goes along. But it was an excellent game. I'm glad I could be part of it. This was a great atmosphere. State escapes 28-21 the final as the Broncos remain undefeated. For Lou Holtz, Todd Harris, and the rest of our outstanding ESPN crew. I'm Reese Davis thanking you for being with us from Tulsa tonight. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Sports Center is on the way with John Anderson and Linda Cohn. I'm Reese Davis. Good night, everybody.